Hello everyone, I am Veos, and welcome back to the, well, used to be colony, but now I'm thinking it's more of a mining outpost. It'll go from moon to moon, mining and stuff. This one is pretty, it, it, this one's a bigger challenge, I think, than the one that, uh, the, the spaceship that goes out and mines asteroids, because it has to land, right? And then once it lands, I'm going to have it sort of transform into this outpost, and then when it's all done, it has to pick up all the mining ore that it collected and go back into orbit. I guess to turn into like a type of trade station or something, or maybe it just flies to the next space station or whatever and dumps its cargo, gets paid and then goes back. I don't know, but this, <laughs> uh, let's face it, it's not gonna work. <sighs> These robotic parts are only good for very small, little teeny manual tasks. Nothing grand, nothing big. Okay, that being said, we're going to still need power to get off of the moon's surface, so we're still going to need um, liquid oxygen and liquid fuel. Get the thrust going. Get the power. And what I think I'm going to do is sort of like what I did with the asteroid mining ship. I'm going to put I'm going to make it kind of flat like this, right? I'm going to put the engines in the center and uh, so that when it's flying through space, it's kind of flying like this. But when it lands, it lands kind of like this, right? And then it does like a whole RV thing where like pockets and stuff slide out and whatnot. It kind of breaks up a little bit. So you got like a mining thing that comes out here and then you got maybe the living quarters that come out and you know, whatever, or maybe a garage or something opens up here and little vehicles come out and like a little power station opens up. It just blossoms, right? But the blossoming parts I'll leave like separate and they'll be attached by I, um, the large docking ports for maximum strength and then they'll have their own little they'll have their own little uh, a way of moving out and then moving sliding back in so they're they'll sort of be under their own power in a sense or maybe I can have it where they hook up to another docking port so that they're part of the hole. We'll see. We'll figure it out. But I think that's the way we should go. Instead of the whole, you know, cool looking um, thing that opens up like an umbrella or a flower or whatever you want to say. Because of the simple fact that these suckers are simply the weakest parts in the whole damn game, apparently. So we just have to make it work. All right. That being said, I think we'll start with something like this for the core. Or, hmm, her. Actually, let's flip it like this. Uh, that, uh, no, no, no. Will that work? No. No, unfortunately, the mirror only works one way, which kind of sucks. Although, I could, I could probably make that work. Let's see. Um, I mean, I want it to look good as well as function, so, you know. There is that. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking that's going to be way too big. I mean, we'll still have the 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 diameter, but be much smaller. Is that the same size? Yeah. Okay. It'll be much smaller, right? Okay, good. And then we'll kind of like we'll make it expand outwards on either side. Sort of make it look like the um, mothership in uh, the the video game Homeworld. We're gonna need those engines to be. Those engines are gonna have to have like a little notch to live in. To be honest, yeah. A little notch. Oh, whoa. That might be a little too long. Yeah, this thing's gonna have a lot of pockets, so we need to we need to make it so all the fuel and the engines are centralized in one spot. And then we'll cover that up later. not sure about the TWR. Could this thing land on the moon? I don't know. I'm thinking I'm going to need some more power. Okay, well, finally. So two of those will work. I was, I was scour, 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 wah, 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 wah. I was looking. <laughs> Shit, I can't talk. I was looking around for a combination that would give me the highest Delta V and the highest TWR. And then I got close a couple of times, but I wasn't satisfied. But Having two of these not only helps with part count, but also it uh, it looks kind of nice. There we go. I think that'll work. Hmm. Okay. All right. So I've got the TW 
TWR up to 0.5, which is half the thrust needed to carry this thing off of Kerbin. Um, but on the moon or moons, it might be just enough. So we'll see. Plus, whenever this thing lands, it's not going to be fully fueled. However, it will probably be fuel fully fueled when it takes off. So never mind that. I was about to say something clever and inspirational, but my boat just sunk. So no. All right. So we're going to close this up. Okay. Looking good. It's going to have that, uh, that kind of shape throughout the entire thing. And at the end, I'll find some way to round it off. I mean, if not, then we'll figure it out. Let's do this first. sure exactly where this is going but we're gonna keep going until something clicks or my sanity breaks now in see in the other one in the other colony colony as i say the other uh, attempt of the outpost i know that these robotic parts lock but um when i tried that and i didn't i didn't put it on the video but when i tried that the attachment points were so weak that they popped which is why i left the locking part off I tried to sort of put like a manual lock for it to kind of dangle along the sides of the rocket. Sorry, I forgot to mention that, but yeah, these are just very, very weak. They're meant for small things, nothing large or of this scale. For something large and of this scale, you're gonna yeah, you're gonna have to get creative. That's just the fact of playing this game. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm getting a migraine. <laughs> Uh, let's, uh, hmm, let's see, hmm, uh, okay, try something else here. Okay. Okay. All right. It's starting to come together in my head here. Uh, let's let's do something. Let's make this a cargo bay right here. We're make you know what? Screw it. Let's make the whole thing a cargo bay. We'll make that kind of like the slot for like a a drawer in a sense where it slides out and slides back in or something of that nature. All right. All right. And now wait a minute. I forgot. Cargo bays don't attach radial uh, on the sides. Is it radially? Is that what I want to say? So we're going to have to probably put a gas tank on there for it to connect to. That's okay. We'll make it work. We will make this work. Thank you so much for subscribing. You know who you are, YouTube citizen. But yeah, I'm horrible at names, so I wouldn't be able to pronounce that even if I tried. Now, uh, during this time period, I was really concentrated on trying to get as much done as I could within the allowed time that I was giving myself per video. It was about an hour and a half, give or take. So the idea that I finally, uh, that I'm working on is a type of drawer, right? On either side of the craft that slides out to become, you know, whether it's a uh, mining or a garage or something else altogether, I'm not too sure of. I couldn't use the robotic parts, of course, because they're too weak for the drawer sliding mechanism. I, I might, I still might actually, I might use a, I want to say maybe a, a piston, like a, something to push it away, right? And then maybe even bring it back. This drawer has a locking, mechan locking mechanism on it. So that it doesn't come completely out and uh you know drift away into nothingness it can only go so far before it bumps into this uh type of lock or break and then you can slide back in so that's the idea for now but yeah it's coming together slowly but surely i i, I actually like this design way better than the first one way better than the first one the first one i think was just a pipe dream this one actually has got some meat and potatoes to it i think this one will work
Well, unfortunately, very much unfortunately, I am all out of time. Uh, so we're going to have to continue on in a part three. But this is looking so <laughs> much better than the accordion that I accidentally created. The giant space accordion. Yes, let's try to forget about that. Okay, I'm loving this. I'm geeking out. This, this like solid block. It's like a solid block, right? I love it. But uh, all right. Well, everyone... Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I am Beos and I'll see you all in the next video. Wait, no. Okay, we're good. Bye bye. That button on the bottom left looks so enticing. Yeah. Oh, look at it. Look at it. The bottom left button is calling your name. Hmm. Yeah.